how many of you would like to live a life in which you know what to do you have things in control and then the ones that you are unable to control you know now I don't mean you are praying but you know that the power that is greater than you is controlling what you are unable to control and you have the knowledge of how things will turn out would you like to live that kind of a life how many of you want to live that life where in your prayer you know the end result because you see the lots of Christians who pray without knowing what's going to happen they pray they don't know whether it's going to work or not and there are people who don't know whether in five years time things are going to fall apart or things are still going to be all right now that's the life that many people live but Jesus said anyone who follows me shall not walk in darkness that means shall not walk in confusion shall not walk in ignorance darkness is anything that doesn't have direction darkness is anything that destroys your confidence darkness is anything that robs you of your health that robs you of your joy that robs you of happiness that robs you of fulfillment that's darkness do you want to live that life in which you don't need somebody to have to pray to get you well come on talk to me this is the life that Jesus has given to us now listen this is important you have animal life you have plant life an animal cannot become a plant a plant cannot become an animal these are different classes of life different types of life now even among animals you have different classes man they say is a higher animal all right so man has a life he has a human life how many of you know you have a human life as a man do you have a human life as a man yes there's a human life human and humans have one head two hands two legs one nose two nostrils two eyes one mouth humans all right okay now whenever or if ever you saw a man with two heads what would you say a monster you would say that's unnatural if ever you heard a man barking like a dog you would say something's wrong maybe he's possessed maybe something you know something's wrong if you saw a man 40 years old walking on all fours creeping like a dog you would know something is wrong am I right great now the human life is what a man is born with when he's born of his mother the life that he has comes from his father is that all right his body comes from his mother so the woman gives the body the man gives the life is that okay and that's the you, you get a human person from that then Jesus came 
and he didn't have the life of a man because he was born of a virgin he got a body from his mother but where did his life come from you see that you see why Jesus is different from every religious leader everyone has his life from his father and gets the body from the mother biologically a woman doesn't give life life comes from the man the body comes from the woman the man cannot produce the body as the woman cannot produce the life come on come on you get it great now Jesus got a body a human body from his mother Mary but there was no man who gave that life his life came from God and that's the reason Jesus was eternal when he came he had eternal life you see so why did he die yes because he laid down his life the Bible says he laid down his life he said to Pilate this one thing I received from my father he gave me power to lay my life down and he gave me power to take it up again hallelujah now this eternal life when God raised Jesus from the dead he raised him with the same life with the same God life that he had in him in the Greek they call it Zoe that life is a different type of life it is not a human life it is the God kind of life the God type of life like you have the man type of life that's different from the plant life or the dog life you know so you have the God type of life that's what Jesus came to give now when that life takes up is abode in you or when you are implanted with that life of God sickness disease infirmity cannot possess your body are you hearing what I'm telling you now that is the end of sickness that is the end of disease you cannot have an infection hear me hear me and hear me well you know this is science is discovery when you get to learn more about what you have you know what what to do with it am I right if you don't know what you have you don't know what to do with it now there was a time when malaria was a deadly disease you remember many years ago malaria was a deadly disease people didn't get healed of malaria because they didn't have a cure they hadn't discovered the cure for malaria later on man discovered the cure for malaria and man is no longer afraid of malaria isn't that true great so the more you discover the better life you live the more you discover the better life you live the more you discover the better life you live even doctors found out they are able to resuscitate life when a man dies many times when someone has died the doctors they try to push on that chest they try so much and in many cases they bring the man back to life sometimes little babies are born without a cry they just are born still they're born dead and some doctors know what to do they work on that child they work on that child sometimes up to an hour and then the child suddenly starts crying life has come back what have they done they have studied the human nature they have studied it they've discovered something now from the scriptures you will find out something about Jesus and what he came to give us he came to give us life it's called a triumphant life 
And when you have this life, when you have this life, you cannot be defeated. You cannot be destroyed. But you must have the knowledge. You must know about it. You must know how to apply it. Now, he sent us the one he called the Comforter. The Holy Spirit. Now, this Holy Spirit cannot be seen with the optical eyes. You cannot look at him and say, Oh, I've seen the Holy Spirit over there. No. The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Godhead. And he can be all over the world at the same time doing different things. And he lives in me. Amen. And the many of you here, you have received him into your life. So he lives in you. Now it's not a part of him that's in me and a part of him that's in you. He's in me totally. As though I'm the only one in the whole world. And he's in you as though you are the only one in the whole world. Now, do you know that if this life is in you. And this spirit dwells in you. You can put this power to work. Are you hearing me? God doesn't want you to be a victim. Tell somebody close to you. Say that. Say that. Say it again. Can I show you a scripture? Turn into the Bible. Book of Acts chapter 1. Book of Acts chapter 1. I want you to notice something. Are you there? If you don't know where Book of Acts is, turn to the table of contents. Acts chapter 1. I want you all to read verse number 8. Again. Go on. Praise God. I want you to read it one more time. Read it one more time. of you know Jesus never lied to anybody he never exaggerated when he spoke he spoke absolute truth now Jesus said ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you now what did Jesus mean he said you shall receive power now, it was not written in English originally. And the English came from the Greek version. And the Greek version, the word translated power there is dunamis. So, we will introduce just that word in that line and see what it might mean. And ye shall receive dunamis. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Now, I want you to read it that way. Put dunamis where you have power. I want to go. Read it. One more time. One more time. Great. Then he said, and you shall be witnesses unto me. All right? Both in Judea. All right? All right? Samaria. And unto the uttermost part of the earth. Now, he said, you shall receive dunamis. What is dunamis? It's a type of power. Are you hearing me? It's a type of power. It is a special kind of power. 
Now, in English language, we use the word power to refer to different things. One of such is authority. We use the word power. We say, well, that man has a lot of power. But we really want to say that he has authority. All right? But we're not talking about he's got physical power. Okay, so, but this time, he's talking about a kind of power. What type of power? In English language, you have what in physics they call a dynamo. It comes from the Greek word dunamis. A dynamo. Have you ever heard of a dynamite? That's powerful. It's explosive. Dynamite. All right? Okay. So, there is a dynamo. What does this dynamo do? That dynamo will tell you what dunamis is. And that dunamis will now tell you what Jesus meant when he said, You shall receive dunamis. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know what the Lord just told me? He said, by the time you're through telling them, he said, a lot of them will have dunamis released from their tongue. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory! Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's what he just said. Amen. Now, he said, you shall receive dunamis. And I said, the English word dynamo comes from dunamis. What is a dynamo? How does a dynamo function? A dynamo is a kind of a machine. All right? And you start it working mechanically. Oh, come on here. You start it working mechanically. Whether you have to push a button or whether you have to turn something, whatever you got to do, you do it mechanically. And then it starts. When it starts, it produces electrical power. Are you hearing me? Now that electrical power will give light, give anything. It will do anything. You understand? And you can use that electrical power to get whatever you want. You can live a better life. <laughs> Amen. But there's something about the dynamo as it's working and producing electricity. It takes some of that electricity and converts it to cause that mechanical power to go on so that it can produce electrical power again as it goes on producing electrical power it converts again electrical energy to mechanical energy to produce again electrical energy and so it just that means it does not need help from anywhere hear this when it starts off you don't need to help it it has its electrical power converting to mechanical power which produces electrical power which converts to mechanical power which produces electrical power and converts to mechanical power and just keeps going on and doesn't need any extra help so when Jesus said he shall receive dunamis the English, you see, the English had trouble getting it together. He meant inherent power. That's another construction for dunamis. Inherent power. That means, that means power that is independent of any other power, but resides inside you, doesn't need help from God, man, or devils. Are you hearing what I'm telling you now? That's what he said he was giving to us. Jesus, all those three years after he received the Holy Spirit, he never prayed to God for power. He never asked the Father for more power. 
You know what Jesus said? In St. John's Gospel, chapter 5, and verse 26, he said, As the Father has Zoe in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have Zoe in himself. <laughs> and now he has given us Zoe within ourselves. And he says he shall receive the dynamic power, dynamics, inherent, inherent. That means the power resides in you. It doesn't come from above anymore. It has come to stay. Now, furthermore, I told you it produces electrical power, which does something. Now, what is power? Why did the English call it power? There's a reason. Power is defined as the ability, inherent ability, to cause a change. Oh, dear Lord. The divine ability to cause changes is what Jesus gave to us. Power means ability to make a change, to cause a change. Inherent ability to cause changes. And Jesus said, you shall receive that power to cause changes. Which means, as a child of God who has received the Holy Spirit, if you have this understanding, you may have a child that was born a sickler. It doesn't make any difference now. Oh, glory. You may have a husband that had a stroke. It doesn't make any difference anymore. Are you hearing me? You may have had, maybe you were born with a deformed heart. It doesn't matter anymore. Now that you're born again and you have the Holy Spirit, it doesn't matter anymore. Why? He said you shall receive power. The dynamic inherent ability to cause changes which means you can cause a change hear me Jesus did not die to produce weaklings he did not die to produce victims he did not die to produce failures can't you understand this he died to raise up a chosen generation a royal priesthood a peculiar people a holy nation that's what he died for. And he said, these signs shall follow them that believe. He said, in my name, they shall cast out devils. Some of you in the night time when you sleep, you feel a force pressing you on your chest. I'll tell you what to do. Don't cry, don't beg. Are you hearing me? Brothers and sisters, when you, did you ever read in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17, do you know what the Bible says? He says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away and all things are become new. What does that mean? Listen again to it. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. He is not what he used to be. Listen, you've got to understand God's terminology. You have to understand what God's word is. When God talks, listen, when God talks, he speaks reality. There are no shades with God. There are no grays with God. There are no off-whites. Are you hearing me? When God speaks, he speaks absolute reality. He said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. He says, if this man, even though he had been born of his mother, even though he had been a sinner, even though he had been a wicked man, if today he is in Christ, God says, he is not the same man that was born of his mother. He has the same body, but the life inside him is not the one that came from his father hey hey 
Come on, let me show it to you from the book. show you something from God's book life is transmitted through the blood come on talk to me now the life of the physical body is in the blood come on I said the life of the physical body is in the blood I mean all those who understand medicine will tell you that biology tells you that but let me show you something in the book turn to St. John's Gospel chapter 1 St. John chapter 1. Are you there? I said, when you live here today, your world will never be the same again. You will never be a victim anymore. Hallelujah. Chapter 1, St. John. I'm reading from verse 10. He was in the world. He's talking about Jesus. And the world was made by him. Brother, the world was made by him. Don't let anybody fool you and tell you they don't know how this world came to be. If they don't know, we do know. Jesus made it. It came from Jesus. He was in the world and the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born. Have you seen it? Which were born not of blood nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man but of God do you know what that means he's telling you that when you are born again you are not that man that was born with the life of your daddy second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says you are a new creation the Greek version says you are a new species. In other words, a man, a man that never existed before. That means you don't have a past. Are you hearing this? He says it's not the will of the flesh. You were not born of the will of man. It's not because your parents said they're going to have you. He says, no, you are a new creation. All things are passed away. Which means the life that you're living now. Now that you're a child of God. It doesn't matter what you inherited from your parents. You may have inherited that bad blood from your parents. It doesn't matter now. You don't have to suffer any more crisis. Do you understand it now? It doesn't matter that your grandfather died of diabetes and your father died of diabetes and they are telling you it's in the family. Brother, it's not in the family. You belong to a new family. It's not in our family. Jesus is the head of the new family. It's not in our family. I'm telling you, somebody say hallelujah. Wow, it's not in our family. Tell somebody it's not in our family. I said it's not in our family. Somebody say it's not in our family. Jesus is the head of our family. I said Jesus is the head of our family. They say your mother had it, your grandmother had it, your great grandmother had it. That means you have it. No, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away and all things are become new. 
church in our family. There's prosperity in our family. Are you hearing me? He said you have not received the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. was born an imbecile well his uncle was an imbecile so they will always have an imbecile in the family uh -uh. not in this new family I said not in this new family uh -uh. it can't be in this family we don't have the spirit of timidity but of love of power and of a sound mind God I know what I'm talking about the people who have suffered so long they were told it's in their family and they believe that junk if you are born again you have another life it's not the life with which you were born as a baby that's why Jesus said that which is born of the flesh is flesh but that which is born of the spirit is spirit marvel not that I said unto you you must be born again hallelujah that's the solution to the world's problems oh they say their great auntie couldn't have a child and their auntie couldn't have a child and now here's this young lady she's gotten married five years she hasn't had a child and they say it's in the family uh -uh. I said uh -uh. the Bible says in our family there shall be no parent among you hallelujah that's our family and if you don't know it our family is the biggest family on the face of the earth can I tell you about some folks in our family that's where Papa Abraham came from Woo, glory brother old Moses is in that family David is in that family Solomon is in that family Elijah is in that family Elisha is in there Joel is in there my God Matthew Mark Luke and John they're all in this Woo, glory. Paul is in that family Peter is in that family James is in that family talk to me now they were all a success I cannot be a failure we are a success wow greater is he that is in us 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 than he that is in the world Woo! Woo! Mama, mama, mama. Mama, mama. hallelujah that's why he said it doesn't matter what trouble you go through he said count it all joy when you go through diverse tests why you are peculiar count it all joy they can't knock you down count it all joy you cannot be defeated count it all joy why all things work together for key to them that love God to them who are the call according to his purpose shout amen somebody Greater is he, greater is he, greater is he, greater is he, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. The Bible says ye are of God, little children, and you have already overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. 
Hallelujah. I refuse to be sick. I refuse to be sick. I refuse to be poor. I refuse to be defeated. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. Yay! Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they Comfort me. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know who I am. I've found my place. I know who I am. I know who I am. I cannot be defeated. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. I'm making progress. I'm increasing. I'm growing. This is my year of praise and greater glory. Hallelujah. Go ahead and praise him. Go ahead and praise him. Go ahead and praise him. Lebos, 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 Reggae de Bosha, Reggae de Bosha, Marcele, 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 Le Barabaya, Le Barabaya, Marcele, Ribos, 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 Ribarabaya, Ribos, 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 Masele Baye, Libarabaya, Lende de Mondo, Bocarabaya, Bansele de Libarabaya, Lende de Boria, Balada de Bonda, Libarabaya, Bosada de Bonda, Libarabaya, Bosada de Bonda, Libarabaya, de Bonda, Thank you, Lord. Baya, Sebosh, 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 Leila Maya, Leila Baba Baya, Paco Samaria, Liga Bas, Lebon Dara Baba Baba Baba, Cosa Maria, Cosa Maria, Largo Shabarose, Ah. Cosa Marie, Cosa Marie, Cosa Marie, Mando Roboshina Rababa. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Dora, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands toward heaven. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. Marcus Ogore. The anointing. The anointing for you. 
for you, for you, for you, for you, for you, for you, for you. The anointing for you, for you, for you, for you. Receive for you, for you, for you, for you, for you right now, for you, for you. It's for you. Bonta ba 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 ya. Liba ba 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 ya. Lebo ro ba 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 shanda ba ya. There's a new unction. There's a new unction. There's a fresh anointing. There's a fresh anointing. It's yours. 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 Receive it in the name of Jesus. It's yours in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. 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 Sabaye. 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 Liba kabaya. Rabba baba 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 baba. Yes. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. God is doing something in your life. He's doing something in your life. He's doing something in your life. Yes. Lift those hands toward heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. The anointing is working in you. Say amen. The anointing is functioning for you. The anointing will lead you. It will guide you. It will teach you. As you have listened to this word, I know your life has been transformed. Affliction shall not have hold over you. Every sickness is terminated, yokes, generational cause is broken, is shattered from your life. Thank you for sticking with us. Bye.